Etienne made 2 million euros at the age of 17, Theo exceeded 10 million euros in sales at 19, and Armand became a millionaire at the age of 18. These are mind-boggling figures, achieved by people who are extremely young, and as a result, many people's reaction is simply not to believe it. And honestly, I'll admit that before I met them, it also seemed impossible to me, but it's true. In this video, I'll explain exactly what steps you need to take to generate a million euros as quickly as possible. Whether you're 50 or 13, you'll have to go through exactly the same steps. And I can assure you that knowing them will save you a lot of mistakes and above all, help you succeed much faster. Let's get started. Making a million euros is actually a journey divided into six key stages. It takes between three and seven years. I know I'm going to disappoint a lot of people, but becoming a millionaire super fast is extremely unlikely. And the funny thing is, the video that really put me on the map on YouTube was one where I explained how I went from broke student to millionaire in one year. I know, it's contradictory. But in reality, that video is inaccurate. It's true that it took me a year from the time I launched my first real business to the time I had a million in my bank account. But in reality, I had already started my journey towards a million five years earlier. And I was able to generate so much money so quickly because, in fact, I had already come halfway before launching my first business. That's really important. If one day you want to be a millionaire, understand that it's long-term work. If you're not prepared to spend three, five, seven years on that goal, well, don't even proceed. I know that a lot of YouTubers, a lot of guys on TikTok and social media would have you believe that it'll happen overnight, but it's simply not true. Over the past few years, I've met hundreds, if not thousands of entrepreneurs, and I've never met one who succeeded in less than three years, including those who succeed very early on, like Armand, Etienne and Theo I just mentioned. The only reason they succeeded before turning 20 is because they started much earlier. Yeah, most of them got into business-like activities or actually started their business when they were just 12, 13, 14 years old. So yes, it's going to take some work for a while, but the good news is that you've come across this video. As a result, you'll be able to get started as quickly as possible. And if you make the effort to watch this video in its entirety, you'll even be able to move forward much faster because you'll know exactly what steps you need to take before you reach your goal. Step number one awakening when i was a teenager like everyone else i followed this clear-cut path school university nine to five i was told that if i did my homework well got good grades and landed a good job well i'd have the perfect life you've probably been told that too the thing is that's not true getting a good education and a good job isn't the perfect life for you it's the perfect life in the eyes of the system a system that wants to create as many docile and predictable people as possible who will be extremely useful to big business. If society were a machine, these people would simply be a well-polished little bolt who submits and is adjusted to meet every need but their own. By following this path, you simply become a modern-day slave, condemned to chase money your whole life just to spend it all on bills month after month, year after year for the rest of your life. We've all heard it before. But the problem is that some people will hear it, will agree with it, but will continue to fall victim to it. All these people are what I call zombies, people who live their lives halfway, who aren't happy, but who aren't unhappy enough to dare to step out of their comfort zone. These people are doomed to a life of quiet desperation, as Henry David Thoreau would say. We're all part of it, because that's what our parents teach us, that's what the school system teaches us, and what we see in the media. But for Fortunately for me, when I was a teenager, I did an internship at Nestle. And during that internship, I spent two weeks updating the internet, i.e. the internal internet site of the Nestle division where I worked. I changed all the categories, created content, updated documents, and reorganized everything. I was very proud of my work, many of my colleagues congratulated me, and I finished my internship. The following year, I came back to do the same internship. When I got there, I logged onto the internet. At that point, I realized that it hadn't been updated. I'd spent weeks changing everything the year before and it hadn't even been implemented. I already wasn't a fan of the whole 9 to 5 thing during my first internship and I already felt that the corporate world really wasn't for me. I didn't want to spend the time I had left to live on this earth doing meaningless things for mediocre pay. So I started looking for a way to earn my own money without having to live that life. 
A few weeks later, I came across a guy called Ty Lopez. He used to make personal development videos in which he explained that you could make money online. Like everyone else, I was suspicious at first. All he does is talk about Lamborghinis, he puts beautiful girls everywhere, and he says, you can get rich by working a few hours a day from your computer. At first I thought it was a scam, like all those guys selling trading robots, binary options and so on, but there's one thing that fascinated me about this guy, and that's that he was extremely cultured and intelligent, so I kept listening to him, and the more I did, the more I saw that his advice was good. As a result, I started reading some of the books he recommended, and my mindset began to change. I discovered the world of self-help, the world of online business. And that's when I snapped out of it, stopped being a zombie and realized that there's another world out there that you can get out of this huge machine and that if you dare to think a little differently, well, you can create your own freedom and live a completely different life. The thing is, most people will never experience this awakening. In fact, I'm convinced that most of the people watching this video haven't even experienced it yet. Sure, you do your research, sure, you watch these self-help and online business videos, but have you ever tried it? Are you really, deep down, determined to follow this path? And have you ever taken action? Because there are a lot of people who dream, a lot of people who think, a lot of people who talk, but there are very few who take the first step and get off the path that was laid out for them by society. If you haven't yet taken that step, take it now. Make the decision now to start your journey towards a million euros, to stop, to decide that your future lies outside society's rigid codes and to take your first steps in that direction. Whether it's buying books, taking a business training course, attending seminar, setting up your first company or moving to another country, make that first step because until you've done that, your journey to the million euros hasn't even begun. Then we can move on to step two, learning. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you've been noticing your whole life that something wasn't quite right. For years, you've been lied to, whether it's your parents, your loved ones, school, university, or the media. Save every penny, don't take risks, listen to your boss's orders. Online business doesn't work, investments are risky, it's all bullshit. The truth is, if you want to get rich, you're going to have to replace all those voices with those of people who are financially successful. Imagine you're a computer. Well, right now it's infected with a virus. The virus of poverty. And this virus contains all the limiting beliefs you've been taught since you were a kid. Fortunately for you, I have good news. There's a powerful antivirus. This antivirus is all the knowledge of the financially successful. And the only way to get rid of the virus is to install the antivirus. To install these new beliefs, there are several solutions. The best and most effective would be to have been raised by, or to be in daily contact with, someone who is already financially successful. Unfortunately, this is an extremely arduous task. Fortunately for us, there are other solutions that are much more accessible. The first is to read books. Because what is a book? It's simply thoughts in writing. And when you read, these thoughts are downloaded into your brain. As a result, it's an extremely effective way to change the way you think. There are tons of books that can help you. If you're just starting out, I'd like to quickly list five that will make a big difference. Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Andrew Carnegie's How to Make Friends. Gary Keller's Get to the Point. And The Richest Man in Babylon. And if you're one of those people who doesn't like to read and isn't going to, well, too bad, you're also very likely one of those people who will never be rich. And if you're really someone who has trouble reading, well, listen to audiobooks. Personally, what I do now is every time I go to the gym, instead of listening to music, I have an audiobook in my headphones that allows me to read more or less one book a week without ever having to open one. Another way to learn how to get rich is through videos, either on YouTube or through courses. On YouTube, you have a huge choice. In France, of course, you can watch the videos on this channel. We're the current leaders in business and investment. You can also take a tour of the Sound Permission channel, our podcast that talks about the same topics. And then I'd recommend channels like Usama's, Antoine's, Dali's, Marketing Mania, and so on. You've got a lot more choice in the US, where you can check out guys like Alex Hormozzi, Sam Ovens, the My First Million channel, or even channels more similar to mine, like those of my buddies Iman Gadji or Jordan Welch. If you're a really serious person and want to learn even faster, you can buy online training outright. Whether it's cheap, basic training on sites like Udemy or more specific in-depth training with our Mindeo platform. The important thing during this learning phase is to learn. Choose the source you prefer and be regular because until you've cleansed your brain of all society's limiting beliefs and acquired the skills you need to make a lot of money, well, you're going to be treading water. Step number three, experience. The real school of wealth isn't in theory, it's in action and failures. Many people make what I call the Brice Denise mistake. 
Brace Denise. He's watched dozens of movies about surfing. He's passionate about surfing. He's got the best boards, the best equipment, and he's been talking about surfing for years. But the first time he took the plunge, he broke his nose on the first wave because you can't get really good at surfing just by reading books and talking about surfing all day long. If you want to get rich, you have to get wet. But what's the smart way to get wet? First, you need to start small. Before jumping in head first, I'd recommend testing your idea on a small scale. This will reduce the risks and enable you to learn faster. It's like surfing. You don't start by trying to catch a 10 meter wave. You start by staying close to the shore and practicing with small waves. The second important point is to accept failure. It's normal to make mistakes and you have to see each of these failures as a lesson. It's like trying to learn how to surf without ever getting hit by a wave. And if you're an entrepreneur who says, I don't dare start up, I'm afraid of failure. Well, that's just as stupid as saying you want to be a surfer, but never want to get hit by a wave. Thirdly, during this phase of experimentation, remember not to reinvent the wheel. Take advice from mentors, follow what you learn in training, and don't embark on projects that are too complicated. When you're learning to surf, you don't just try to do a 360 on a wave. We take things step by step. But in business, it's exactly the same. Don't try to reinvent an industry when you haven't even managed to get your first customer yet. This phase where you progress in an experiment is mandatory. And that's where you lose most people because everyone else is paralyzed. You may know the best strategy for forcing an elephant to stay in a pen. When he's young, we'll simply tie him up. He'll try to pull on the rope, he won't be able to leave, and he'll learn year after year that he can't leave. So much so that, as an adult, he won't try to leave even though he's got the strength to do so because he's learned over the last few years that he's stuck there. Well, if today you're watching this kind of video but you've never taken action, then you're exactly like the elephant. The school system and society have brainwashed you so much that now you see barriers where they don't exist. You're afraid to take action because you imagine that you're taking huge risks when, in reality, there are none. Today, you can launch a business in parallel with your activities, so you don't have to sacrifice your career. Today, you can launch a business without having to invest thousands of euros, so you don't have to take huge financial risks. And you can start a business today from the comfort of your own computer without telling anyone. So there's no risk of losing your reputation. There's no risk at all. If you don't do anything today, if you don't take action, you're either lazy or you're an elephant that can't get past these imaginary barriers. Step number four, the PMF. When I first started out in e-commerce, my first two stores were abject failures. I created a store selling MMA equipment and another selling bracelets and accessories for the military. Two stores, several weeks of work, and in the end, a modest sale. But I persevered and launched a third store selling jewelry and watches. I had a dozen products in the store and I started advertising very quickly. One sale, two sales, three, five, ten sales. For the first time, it really worked. I was profitable, making money with my own business. That's when I discovered product market fit. That famous moment when you manage to put together an offer that convinces customers. You get more and more sales, more and more easily, and you start making money. This is a crucial stage in your journey because it's here that you'll make all the difference. Firstly, at this point, you're going to break all limiting beliefs once and for all because you're going to see that it's possible for you. Even if you intuitively believe in it and have these goals in your head, as long as you're not making money with your own business, it's not real. I remember very clearly that for me, it made a huge difference and that my motivation multiplied from that moment on. But the thing is, it's also a decisive moment when everything can go wrong. I remember very well that when I started to get those first results, well, I put it even more effort. I changed, tweaked, and continually improved my business. And a few weeks later, I was earning over a thousand euros a day. But I didn't stop there. I continued to work hard to improve my numbers and the quality of my store. But not everyone reacts like that. By this time, I had met another entrepreneur in my town who also had an e-commerce business, which at the time was still doing much better than mine. We'd talk from time to time about what we were doing in our stores and the figures he was getting for his business. The thing was, this guy had stumbled upon a great opportunity. He too had achieved product market fit, but instead of continuing to improve, he rested on his laurels. And a few weeks later, he was earning much less than I was. You have to realize that at the beginning of a business, when you start making money, when you reach that product market fit, well, the business is like a shark. If it stops swimming, it dies. When it starts to work, you've probably had a stroke of luck and that lucky break won't last long. That's why you have to make the most of this opportunity and be aware that if you work hard, it's only the beginning of a journey that can take you a long way. 
Fifth stage, temptation. Once you've managed to convert your first business success into something that lasts in the medium term, you enter the famous temptation stage. At this point, you've got your business up and running. You're earning at least several thousand euros a month, and you've acquired most of the skills of an entrepreneur. You understand marketing, you've probably already hired your first employees, and you've got the processes in place to make it all work. Unfortunately, there are still plenty of people who will fail at this stage. They're going to earn tens of thousands of euros or even hundreds of thousands of euros, and they're going to succumb to temptation. Because when you get to that stage of the business, you're already earning more than 99% of the population. And as a result, there are many more options available to us. You don't have to work anymore. You want to show that you've made it. So you start buying luxury habits, watches, cars, you start making gifts, inflating your lifestyle, going to restaurants and nightclubs. And all this can be very distracting because you increase your spending and spend less time on our business. On top of that, your business is relatively young, which means that sales can also drop rapidly. All it takes is for there to be a problem in the business, for you to lose some big customers, for the industry to be a little less booming, and we can very quickly start earning much less. Another problem with this phase is that you realize that getting rich doesn't solve all your problems. You're not automatically happy. You still have problems. Problems, you're still stressed. As a result, many people lose their motivation. All the people who thought that once they were rich, their life would be perfect, realize that's not the case. And sometimes they even become repulsed by the business and let it die. There are a lot of pitfalls at this stage. For example, the fact that it's necessary to delegate and that if you don't know how to manage a team well, be a good leader, have no emotional intelligence, don't know how to interact properly with people, well, that can create huge conflicts. There's a much greater administrative burden. You have a lot more obligations and you have to surround yourself with partners like accountants and tax specialists to manage these aspects of the business. Finally, you also have to force yourself to do things you don't want to do. When you start out in business, well, you discover everything. Everything's new and you're highly motivated. As a result, it's relatively easy. But after a few years, well, there are certain parts of the business that you hate doing, that you put off until tomorrow, and if you do it for too long, well, it's going to cause huge problems. In general, it's in this stage that entrepreneurs spend the most time. They're going to have a roller coaster ride where it goes up, down, up, down. They're motivated and demotivated. They'll make all the mistakes I mentioned before. And after a while, if they're determined and resilient enough, they'll learn from their mistakes and make it to the last stage. This last stage is success. You've earned over a million euros. You're one of the top 1% of the richest people in the world. And you can be proud of yourself because you've succeeded in doing something that almost everyone wants to do, but can't. You've succeeded in doing something that requires a lot of hard work. You've succeeded in doing something that requires an enormous amount of mental strength and perseverance. And the incredible thing is that if you've made it this far, you'll never be poor again. After all, you've gone through all the stages and learned everything you need to learn to be rich. If tomorrow all your money is taken away, you're bound to find a way to make it back again. And I know that personally, it gives me extraordinary self-confidence. I think becoming rich, if you're an ambitious person, is one of the hardest but most important things you can do in your life. It's going to make you stronger because it's going to teach you so much about life and it's going to enable you to develop so many skills and character traits that will enable you to have a better life. Once you've reached that stage, you'll understand that it's just a stage. It's not the finish line and you can still go much further, provided you understand this very important principle. What got you here won't get you there. If you've made a million, but you want to make 10, well, you're going to have to reinvent yourself all over again and overcome a lot of new hurdles. But that's a topic for another video. If you're starting from scratch today and want to begin this prize journey, I made a video a few months ago where I explain exactly what the four best paths to reach 10,000 euros a month are. I highly recommend you go and watch it. We'll put it right here. And in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was Yomi. Ciao.